coding and decoding. Hello children, have you ever thought how we can turn a normal text to a secret message? Wouldn't it be interesting? This secret message cannot be written by anyone else. Now you must be wondering what exactly we do in this process. Let me explain it to you. We simply code the normal text to create a secret message. And this particular process is called as coding. Now once the message has been coded, it is sent to the receiver. Let's see how he understands the message. He simply decodes the message and this process is called as decoding. Isn't it interesting? Now let's learn about coding and decoding in detail. Coding refers to the process of writing a secret message to be sent to someone. Codes can be written using letters, numbers and symbols. We can also substitute the names of certain things with the names of other things in the process of coding. Decoding, on the other hand, is the process of finding the actual meaning of the coded letters, numbers and symbols. The process is pretty simple. Now let's have a look at different types of coding. There are different types of coding. Let's learn about them one by one. Letter coding. In this type of coding, we arrange the letter in forward or backward direction or in both by creating a coded message. Direct letter coding. In this type of coding, we replace the letters of a word directly by other letters. Number coding. In this coding, we assign numbers to letters in a word. Symbol coding. In this type of coding, we assign symbols to letters in a word. And last is substitute coding. In this type of coding, we assign certain names to some particular words. Decoding decodes. We need to consider the following points while solving questions based on coding and decoding. We need to observe the position of letters in alphabetical order. We need to have a knowledge of letters in reverse order as well. We will also need to have a knowledge on how to find a particular letter before and after each letter in the alphabetical order. Now let's look at a few examples to understand this coding and decoding in a better way. Now, if A, N, D is being written as B, O, E, how will you write B, A, D as? Now, here you will need to understand the pattern that is being followed. Now, here A is being denoted by B, right? Now, if you remember, B is succeeded by A when it comes in the alphabetical order, right? A, B, C, D. Now, similarly, N is being followed by O and D is being followed by E. Now, if I use this particular logical pattern where the letter, the original letter is being replaced by its successor, now it should be easier for you to understand how B, A, T will be written as. Now you tell me if Rho, R, O, M, E is coded as 2, 1, 4, 5, then how will M, O, R, E will be coded as? Now if you see here, R is being denoted by 2, O is being denoted by 1, M is for 4 and E is 5. Now if you will use these numbers that has been denoted for each of these letters, then how will we write M, O, R, E as? What is M being denoted as? It's 4. O by 1, R by 2 and E, it's by 5. 
And here we have M-O-R-E properly decoded. Next, if the word candle, C-A-N-D-L-E, is being written with these symbols, that is, plus, multiplication, minus, division, at the rate, and hash, then how will you write L-A-N-D as? We're going to use the similar pattern that we used for the previous example. Here the symbols are being denoted by respective letters. Now if you have to write L-A-N-D, here L is being denoted by at the rate. A by your multiplication sign, N by minus, and D by the division sign. So here we have the word L-A-N decoded. Similarly, next question is for you to solve. That is D-E-A-L, deal. I've given you about half a minute and try and solve it. I'm sure you must have been able to solve it easily. Now let me tell you the answer. D is division, E is denoted by hash, A by the multiplication sign, and L by at the rate. I'm sure you must have done it correctly. Now, let's do some interesting activities. I'm giving you a few homework, and I'm sure you will be able to do it. Code the mobile numbers of your parents using letters of English alphabet. Second, Code the names of any five of your friends using the digits from 0 to 9. And code your date of birth using different symbols. I am sure. Now you will be able to easily code any text and decode the same also. That's all for now children. I will see you soon with a new concept.